What's up, guys? Just got back home from seeing Gemini Man. Will Smith's movie. I had a great time. I enjoyed the movie a lot. It was great. It's great. So, now you know, I don't really go to movie theaters too often because I have an amazing home theater, the Raft Cave. But I made an exception to go out to see this movie because this is a more unique experience. This was shot in 3D, number one. But more importantly, it was shot in HFR, which is high frame rate. It was shot in 120 frames a second. Now, I think uh, The Hobbit or Peter Jackson did some kind of H HFR movie. Was that 80 frames or 90 frames? This is 120. Not a lot of theaters have this kind of technology. Uh, but the theater, uh, you know, a couple, couple towns away, uh, they have a laser projector that had HFR with 3D. And it looked fantastic. Uh, with this movie, I wanted to see an experience. So I went to the theater with my son. I like 3D because, you know, I did a video with 3D glasses. My thing with 3D is it's all about the immersion, not the, not the popping out, the immersion and the depth going into the movie, being a part of the movie, being a part of the environment. That's what Amazing 3D is all about. And this movie had that in spades. It was shot beautifully, had amazing vistas and scenes and, and good foreground, background shots. It was awesome. So the 3D was spectacular. If you're a 3D fan or was a 3D fan, definitely check it out for that, 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 that aspect alone. The 3D was great. I like Will Smith. I wanted to support his movie. Uh, he's a you know great guy, family guy, good action star, funny dude. And this movie's an action, you know, so I got to go see it. I had a great time. My son had a good time. So, you know, the story plot, the storyline is kind of old. It's, it's about cloning, you know, the pros and cons of cloning. But let me tell you guys, the, the, the computer effects of, of Young Will was state-of-the-art. It was amazing. Now, we've seen some de-aging stuff from Marvel movies and some other stuff. Oh, that's a, but this movie, seeing old, like normal Will and Young Will together, it was seamless because it looks so damn cool. It wasn't this fake, oh, computer. Huh. No, they, this did believable job of Young Will. Now, we all know what Young Will looks like, you know, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Just imagine that Will as a, as a train killer assassin in this movie. It was amazing. So action scene-wise, phenomenal action scenes. It might have taken about a half hour to get to the, you know, the hunting and stuff. But, man, it was, it was some awesome, awesome scenes. Definitely demo-worthy. Uh, the theater I went to was, was great. had a large screen. Uh, it was it was crisp. 4K was crisp. It was just like being at home with my native Sony 4K projector. It looked amazing. Uh, the sound was great. The movie theater had great sound. So I was hearing bullets flying around and explosions and all kinds of cool stuff around me. So sound was great. Um, a few actors here and there weren't, weren't up to par, but who cares? They're just filler anyway. Will Smith knocked it out of the park. He was great. Motion, action, some funny stuff. But, man, Young Will was just cool, man. He did a great job with this effects. Awesome. So the high frame rate, it's, a, it's, it's totally different than watching a normal movie that was shot in 24 frames. This is, I'm not sure if my theater was 60 or 120. Even if it was just 60 frames a second, it looked so cool. It was so different at first. It was kind of jarring, like, man, this is like I'm looking at real life. Like, people are just moving like they're right in front of me. It's just kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like watching a PBS, like an old... Uh, not an old, but like say a, a documentary on something like, hey, here's Italy. Here's the here's what Italy is all about. And you watch the, 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 the education video and it's like it's so smooth and everything. It was just cool to see a movie, like a high budget and, and actors we've we've seen before in 60 frames or 120 frames. It was just so believable and so real to see, see them like that. Plus with the 3D, it was awesome. Uh, let me tell you guys, great action. I enjoyed it a lot. Worth going to see just for the aspect of, of great 3D and high frame rate together. Totally worth your money. But let me tell you the, the last action scene. The, the 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 third person that enters the fight. Wow. I'm talking, let's bring some comic book action movies together. You know, with all the Marvel movies, you know, Captain America, Iron Man, you know, Winter Soldier, all those fight scenes, Thor and all that. Even Thanos, none of those had the 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 the, the three dimensional the, the the camera work, the martial arts fighting, and just the badass the badass presence of this the, this third opponent into this fight. 
I loved every second of it. I was gobbling it up. My mouth was hanging open. I was like, this is the greatest three-dimensional fight scene I've ever seen in my life. It was about three minutes of wow. I wish I could just watch that scene over and over again. That last fight was incredible. Worth your money just for that three minutes. It was awesome. Well, there's my mini review, guys. I thought it was great. Uh, Villain was good. The whole movie was great. I enjoyed it a lot. Will Smith knocked it out of the park. It was really cool to see that. And see young Will kicking ass like that against old Will was really a treat to watch. Um, So definitely thumbs up for me. I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray for sure. 4K, hopefully 3D, 4K, or 3D with the 4K disc like like, uh, Alita Battle Angel did. I want to buy it. I cannot wait to watch it in 3D at home. Hopefully it's a 60 frames uh, uh, Blu-ray disc. There's not a lot of 4K HDR 60 frame videos. I think there's one, right? Some weird old, some weird, yeah, movie. So hopefully it works out. I definitely will buy it. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching this uh, mini reaction. I enjoyed it. Go see it. It's opening tonight or tomorrow and the weekend. So hopefully it does well enough or good enough. Um, But uh, anyway, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. You have a good night. Thanks for watching. Home Theater Rules. Raph gave out. See ya. Thank you.